local middle school is getting ready to represent New Mexico on the world stage, putting their engineering skills to the test at the VEX Robotics World Championship. News 13 Sarah Yingling caught up with the team during one of their practices. That's what holds the arm in place. Track. For the next few weeks, this library is a practice course. Gear there will be fine because the gear will be pressing against that. The Cleveland Middle School robotics team is gearing up for a fierce competition, going up against 180 middle school teams from around the world. It's astonishing because this is the first time we've ever been to a world competition with robotics. For, and being this young, it's incredible. The team was guaranteed a ticket to the world championship by winning the state competition and then getting second place and winning the middle school excellence award at the regional competition. And that qualifies us for nationals and worlds. But we, we skip we worlds skip, to go straight we to skip nationals or skip nationals to go school. straight to world. But the road to the VEX world championships wasn't always paved in gold. A number of obstacles stood in the way. We didn't get the rules and the restrictions for everything until two weeks before the first competition. So we had to hurry up and build our robot in about one and a half weeks and get it programmed. Not to mention, robot parts were hard to come by. Other teams have 10 times as many, 20 times as many parts as we do. And we built with very few parts. We programmed it. And the team had little space to practice. We've been practicing at his house here or basically anywhere where we could. We even practice at Garfield a couple times. That's why the team started a GoFundMe page, raising money to build a competition field of their own to have at the school. So the field will ensure that the team next year would be able to practice with the up-to-date uh, obstacles and everything. They want to continue this new legacy they've built for future years to come. <laughs> kind of what we're yes. trying to start here. We have it lined up for next like five, six years, and we're going to try and go to Worlds again. Sarah Yingling, KRQE News 13.